Many of Onshape's commands yield different results based off your mouse gestures. Let's look at a few examples while sketching. If you click and release the left mouse button while in the line command, you'll sketch out continuous line segments. You're able to wake up other entities while you sketch and create alignments as you create the segments. This is a great technique when creating large outlines of shapes. However, did you know that if you click and drag, you'll create single line segments but stay in the command? This technique is helpful when you want to draw single line segments between other sketch entities. 2D fillets also have different behaviors depending on how you use your mouse. Click and release on a vertex or click and release on two entities and a fillet will be applied at a specified value. Continue clicking on other vertices and equal radius fillets will be created. However, if you use a click-drag approach, you get a different behavior. Click-drag allows you to size fillets dynamically. Once the new radius is applied, equal radius fillets can be created with a click and release method. Most people don't know that offset follows a similar behavior. Click and release will offset a single segment, but click and drag will offset continuous chains of sketch entities in one operation. It's a huge time saver. Finally, Window Select has different behaviors based off your mouse movement. Click and drag a window from left to right, and you select entities that lie completely within the resulting blue frame. Click and drag a window from right to left, and you've created a crossing selection frame. This is extremely helpful when choosing entities to apply sketch constraints. So take some time to experiment with the different ways to apply these common commands. I'm sure you'll find the flexibility helpful when both creating and editing your models.